Gears of War 4. The game dropped last October, and I'm a Gears of War fan. I've been playing since 2006. But, like all companies, or most companies, they tend to get a little bit greedy and want to fuck over their fan base. Um, what I'm going to show you here, what I'm going to proceed to show you, uh, is the most insane level of fuckery that I've seen in a video game in a long time concerning DLC. Uh, I do not know why this is not being addressed by anyone else, bigger YouTubers. I've, I, I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of video game news, and I have heard nothing about this while other games get ripped ripped to shreds for it. Uh, free to play games ripped rip to shreds for this shit. But this game here is a $60 game with a $40 season pass. So we're up to $100. And mind you, that season pass is for the whole year. So they're still cranking shit out as we go. But as you know, most games like Gears and Halo and Call of Duty and shit like that, uh, you, you got skins you can buy, um, you know, different costumes for your characters, uh, point, uh, bounty cards to get more points so you level up faster, etc, etc. But uh, I have never, ever seen a price tag like this. And that's what we're going to talk about here. I'm going to show you guys some videos. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, let's fucking get into it here. So uh, we're going to Gears War homepage. We're going to take you guys to the store. And we're going to check out some of these prices. Now, uh, the first one is going to be uh, the operations pack. Uh, it's just a bunch of random bullshit that nobody wants. It's one pack for $2, 15 packs for $20. So already we're starting into, you know, uh, we're in the normandy of video games today as far as dlc goes weapons games etc uh twenty dollars for that horde booster which is just horde mode uh you, you get more uh points for tower defense weapons and things like that it's just i don't think anybody's playing that game mode but it's it's uh ten dollars for 15 packs um just a little bit of more extra help in horde uh versus booster this is, uh, contains four various bounty cards and one guarantee uh, so it's four cards that helps you get gain in-game xp and then one uh customization for your uh player like a weapon scan or something like that and then you got uh, 15 packs, that's $10. Uh, $10. Then you get the Elite Packs. This is the one everybody wants. Uh, it contains five random uh, customization cards with one guaranteed epic or better item. Now, they're usually not that good, but it's $25 for fucking five packs and uh, 2,000 points for one pack um, in game currency. And they don't give you any in game currency. Now, here's where it starts to get interesting though the starter airdrop. So, this is the starter, uh, you know, the entry, you know, um, two Elite Packs, five Operations Packs, and five versus boosters. Five horror boosters. Uh, oh, that's the starter, you know, entry level. So now, if you bought that, you're up to $120 so far for the game. You won't really get shit for the starter airdrop. It's 20 fucking dollars. You should get some level of quality, but you won't find it in that airdrop. But now it starts to get a little more interesting. Here's where we start to, you know, it's going to piss me off a little bit. And there it is $50 fucking deluxe airdrop. $50 fucking dollars. So, uh, what's the, what we get? Discount. Uh, discount, they say. Fucking discount. Oh, thank you so much, Coalition. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, uh, you know, help right there. Thanks for doing that for me, your loyal customer. Uh, discount: forty gear packs, ten operations packs, ten elite packs, ten versus boosters, and ten horror boosters, including this giant bundle. Fuck you, Coalition. I can't believe it. Microsoft's allowing this shit. But even fifty dollars is still in the realm of what uh, kind of fuckery I expect from today's games, like Call of Duty, Halo, and things like that. Just uh, weapon skins and things. This, this is no, this is no map packs or anything. It's just weapon skins. In-game currency, things like that. But here's where I can't fucking believe they did this. Here's why I made this video. I'm gonna show you right now. Here it is: the ultimate airdrop, 9999, a hundred fucking US dollars. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that shit? A hundred fucking dollars. Uh, what do you get? The largest airdrop with a massive hundred packs contains 25 operations packs, 25 elite packs, 25 versus boosters, and 25 horde boosters. Fuck these companies, man. They think we're stupid. Always trying to fuck us over. And look, read the title. Best offer. Oh, thank you. That's that's the best deal. You're going to buy this shit and you won't even get half of, of, of all the shit that's in the game. Not even half. So if you buy this thing, you're up to $200 fucking dollars. The season pass was $40. So now you have to $200 fucking dollars total for this game. Are you fucking kidding me? And they're gonna release more shit here soon. So if, if you're a person who likes to invest money in this, and you want the best, you know, the best new skins, and everything else in this game, by the time that this game runs out, it's gonna be you're gonna be in four or five hundred bucks, baby. It's it's fucking ridiculous. And I think they're doing this, and it's it's blatant cash grab. They're you know milking this thing for all they can before this series dies out. Because I'm a, I've been playing Gears since the beginning. 
I have a lot of Gears collectibles, I have posters and everything, I have Gears t-shirts, I love Gears of War, but it's not as popular as some other franchises, and I think they're seeing this shit's dying out, and they're trying to get it for all that it's worth, I don't think the sales numbers were all that good, and same with the pre-order numbers, and it's just a blatant a hundred dollars come on microsoft come on maybe they, they might maybe they don't have control but i guarantee you that microsoft's making money off of this dlc and you know this is their they own they own uh gears of war this is their you know the, the coalition is, is their company so this is a first party title this is their company so microsoft is allowing this shit to happen now you might say to yourself oh jay just don't buy it you know of course i know that and most of my viewers probably know that but this video is geared more towards people who don't know that. And believe me, there are people out there that are buying this shit and they do, not, they do not know that this is a fucking atrocity. They don't know any better. They buy this shit, they think they're going to have all the best shit and then, you know, you'll get some shit it's not worthwhile. You know, give me some meaningful, uh, long while worthy DLC. Give me more missions. Give me um, some cool weapon skins. You know, so it's always some dumb shit like pink, like a pink shotgun or a, uh, a Santa Claus boom shot. Boo. Boo. Fail. Um, was most recently they had the Luchadori packs in Gears of War 4. That shit threw me off because uh, you know Gears of War is a, usually a pretty serious kind of theme game, grimy, uh, gory, you know, very competitive. And I was playing Gears of War, and then I come around the corner with a fucking shotgun, <laughs> running towards me, you know, in, in the Gears of War style run it was a fucking dude in a wrestling suit uh, with a mask on, looked like a big fat Rey Mysterio, and. That guy killed me because I, I couldn't, I didn't know that happened. I didn't know it was in the game yet. And I, I, I was all fucked up. I thought I was playing something else. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. But that is the whole, that's what I want to share with you guys. Is, you know, this is a hundred dollars, a hundred fucking dollars. And I do not know why nobody else in uh, gaming is addressing this. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I keep with gaming news and uh, being people that are known uh, for, um, you know, targeting uh, companies for bullshit DLC. I uh, have not addressed this. You can look on here, you won't find too much about it. And that is just baffling to me. I don't know how people uh, has, can skip over this. Cause I haven't seen anything similar to this uh, that I can recall. A hundred fucking dollars. Maybe maybe Destiny is the last time this kind of, you know, like this level of bullshit really happened with their uh, uh, Return of the King DLC and all the other shit going on. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Um, if you guys think this is bullshit, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you think. If you can defend this, and if you can justify this, please let me know in the comment section below as well. I would love to hear that explanation. Absolutely. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And my next video won't be far around the corner. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.